Hello, my name is Ikello Herod, and this is the Future Fiction Factory. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, <laughs> guess what, y'all? Plugins are real in PseudoWrite. They are absolutely real. So what we're doing today is I'm going to show you how to build one from scratch. All right. So I've already, I tried to do this yesterday and then they did an update to it. <laughs> and so I had to stop the recording and do it again. But what I would like to do is show you what it, what it entails to actually build a actual plugin inside of PseudoWrite. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to share this screen. This is PseudoWrite. The layout is all different and uh, used to have plugins way up on the top. Now they have a clearly marked uh, button that says beta, not only in the plugins of the regular plugins, but oh, and looks like they've also reconfigured it so that when you click on plugins that it loads it up. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty exciting. So what we're going to do today is we're going to actually make this a real plugin. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to build from scratch just a perfect little three-act structure plugin. What do you mean by three-act structure plugin? Well, a three-act structure, the, the, uh, a lot of times when people are trying to figure out what they want, what they want to do in a piece of IP, whether it's a, a movie or a novel or a short story, is they need it broken down into three acts. The premise of what they're doing kind of fleshed out very quickly. I am all about people having resources to flesh things out. When you click into Create Plugins, you'll see here that at the top there's a name. So we're going to click into that. And uh, remember, I have automatic uh, dictation. So as soon as I click into it, it's going to say everything I want. I'm going to say um, um, three act builder. Now that I've got the name in there, it's going to use highlighted text. More is coming soon, obviously. All right. And uh, description. Let's write a description. This plugin takes any genre slash plot slash scenario and creates a possible three act structure based on the genre slash plot slash scenario. Period. It uses these to create an entire story arc. Arc. All right, now that we've built that, you can either list it or not list it. Unlisted is what we're going to do right now until it's time to actually publish it. Now let's build the instructions. And then down here, we will test it out. You are an award-winning editor, and you know everything there is about literature. You will take all highlighted text and create an entire three-act structure, including subplot substructures. Everything should be appropriate to whatever the highlighted text is. Now it's done. <laughs> okay? It's very it's done. So now we have literally just built a plugin. We're not going to publish the plugin. We are going to test the plugin. What we're actually going to do is we're going to take the old instructions from back here. This is the actual prompt that I built yesterday, but that was as easy as it gets, y'all. <laughs> you could have just built it exactly the way I did, but this is what I did yesterday. This plugin takes the highlighted text, your story in a nutshell, and creates a comprehensive three-act structure that takes into account the implied genre and the story itself. And there it is. The, the plugin has made your story more comprehensive. And then it says you are an award-winning New York editor who can look at any blurbs, 
plot, scenario, elevator pitch, and create a three-act structure for the highlighted text that takes into account a rich and fulfilling ending and all of the tropes that are appropriate for the implied genre. If there is an obvious uh, if there is an obvious genre in the highlighted text, then please use the genre as the basis for the extrapolation. Okay, so now that that's built, all we have to do is come up with a scenario. So we're going to go with my Lucy Sky. Let's do the Lucy Sky premise. A young woman is thrust into a world of intrigue and high technology when she is used as a pawn in a greater scheme. She is a barista and she is falling in love with a very distinguished scientist that keeps coming into her place of business. This scientist is a female and sort of is interested in the barista, but way too busy with her own life and the extraordinary company that she works for. One day, the barista gets assaulted by two men and the scientists and a couple of android companions save the barista's life. From that moment on, the barista is thrust in the middle of intrigue as the scientists and her benevolently oriented corporation try to make the world a better place with alien technology. Now we're running the test and it pops out the first card, which is actually the prompt. You are a helpful writing assistant. Here's the passage. Award winning editor. Here's the premise. And then here is the card. You are introduced to a young barista named Sarah as the protagonist living in an ordinary life, working in a coffee shop, establish Sarah's crush on the distinguished female scientist, Dr. Emily Reynolds, who, who frequences, uh, yep, and the whole premise is there. The stakes rise on a nefarious plot involving powerful individuals within the corporation who seek to exploit the technology for their own gain. That's not a bad premise. That works. I love running my old scenarios through because it's very much about iteration on your own stuff. So that's what we did this morning is we created a plugin that can basically extrapolate all of this information from a very short blurb or highlighted text, and it will write the cards in the over on the side and create an entire three-act structural premise. My name is Ikel O'Hara. This has been the Future Fiction Factory, and we have just literally made a plugin. Can you believe that? A plugin <laughs> all by our lonesome. So, can you make a plugin? Do you understand the power that you now have? This is a game changer. I hope that you stick around because we're going to be going over a lot of these plugins, a lot of these plugins, and your. You're just in for a very exciting future. You think 2023 was fast? Wait till 2024. My name's Ikello Harrod. This has been the Future Fiction Factory, and I will see you in the next video.